Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video we're going to focus on absolute value, what the definition of that means, and how we can apply that to certain equations. Now absolute value is only talking about a number, and really we're just talking about how far is that number away from zero. Let's write that out for our definition here. The definition of absolute value really can be broken down to how far a number is from zero. So how we notate absolute value is we notate that with what we call absolute value bars. It's two bars that go around the number. So for example, if I had the absolute value of 51, okay, these absolute value bars are telling you that you want to know what is the absolute value of 51. What you're really asking is, how far away is 51 from zero? Oh, looks like I forgot to write that here. From zero. And so it's pretty easy with positive numbers because we just realized that 51 is 51 spaces away from zero. So we would say that the absolute value of 51 is 51. Okay, whatever the number is inside these absolute value bars, if it's positive, it just stays positive. Now where it might switch is, is if we look at the absolute value of say negative seven, right? Imagining our number line, and I can draw this out so we can see. Here's our number line here. Here is where zero is. We see that negative seven is over here. Again, what this question of absolute value is really asking is it's saying how far away is negative seven from zero? We're interested in how many spaces is it from zero? Well, negative seven, its absolute value is seven, okay? Because it's seven away from zero. So a good takeaway to realize with absolute value is that the output from the absolute value bars is always, always, always going to be positive, okay? Because we're always just talking about the value of that number from zero. We're not gonna refer to that as a negative, so whatever number you get put into the bars here are always gonna end up being positive. Okay, another example we could look at is what is the absolute value of negative 311? Again, the absolute value bars are really just going to get rid of that negative, and the absolute value is just positive 311. All right, guys, it's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.